All right, my name is Michael. I'm here demonstrating the Tormac sharpening machine for Carbotech at the 2017 Sydney Working with Wood Show. Uh, what I'd like to do is just go over a few benefits of the machine and I'll also go through a, a few different uh, categories of tools uh, just to give you a quick run through on the system. This here is the, the, 2000, uh, the T8 machine uh, which we launched last year. Um, we're using our aluminium oxide stone bonded with ceramic flakes. This will allow us to give us a clean fast sharpening system. We can shape our tools and sharpen and then we can bring them to a nice razor clean polished edge finishing off on the leather honing wheel. The machine itself just runs in water in our water trough here. There's also a magnet in the water trough so it'll pull all the steel filings away from the stone to keep them out of your grits as well. Um, with the use of a stone grater we can change the composition of this one stone from 220 grit to 1000 grit using our stone grater so we've got a smooth and a coarse side there. All right. So what we do, I'll go through a chisel first. With our chisels we've got jigs and angle guides for everything. So we can also duplicate and replicate the exact same grind each and every time. So minimal tool wastage, we're sharpening the tool rather than shortening the tool. So with our square edge jig we can do up to 77 mil plane irons and chisels. We've got a square edge here, we just butt that up against, lock that off. Now the protrusion doesn't matter that much because we're going to set the angle based on the height of the support bar. So we've got our angle master here, we'll dial up what angle we want so I can change all the angles. So we're going to do 25 degrees. I'll turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. So we just want this to sit nice and flush on the tool. All right, we can lock that off. And away we go. So we just want to pass the stone. The wheel runs at 90 RPM and through a water bar, so no risk of overheating or bluing the tool. We sharpen till we've got a burr and that indicates to us that we've completed the grind all the way through to the other side. So I'm just going to finish that off. Right. Now we want to remove that burr and polish the bevel. So just use my rotating base to turn that around. We can change the support bar over. And the same system again. Use our angle guide. Set the angle. Lock that off. And this is polishing the bevel. Remove it from the jig and we just want to take the burr off the back. So we just bring that down just until that burr touches. And just take that off. You see a bit of compound kick over the front there. And that's done. So through the use of our angle guides and our jigs we can duplicate and replicate that exact same angle each and every time. While I'm here, this one here was done at 220 grit on the stone and this one here was done at 1000 grit. Plain irons are the same. Uh, so what I might do now is just quickly touch on the wood turning tools. Complicated one for most people is bowl gouges, spindle gouges. So same again. So with this one here we have a turning tool setter. 
This will basically set all the angles for us, for bowl gouges, spindle gouges and skews. Okay. So first step is if I'm doing a 45 degree bowl gouge, which this one here is, I need jig setting number two. Got to find my jig first. So this is, uh, this is locking. So zero, one, two, that locks off. We need to set our protrusion. So P for protrusion of 65. So there's three protrusions here on the back. That just clips onto your bench. And this will set the protrusion length for the tool from the jig. So that locks in. And then the last step is we need hole A. So that'll set the distance for the support bar away from the stone. I'll turn that around so you can see what I'm doing. So we just want these two wheels to touch the stone. So let's bring that down. So if we've done those three steps, every time that that touches a stone will be the exact same profile. And the same as what we did with the chisel. We simply just want to grind until we've got a burr all the way across. And then we can remove that burr and polish the bevel on the honing wheel. So I'm done there. I'll turn that around. Pop that off. And polish that bevel. We've also got our profiled honing wheels here on the side. So that'll help us remove the burr from our carving tools or from our uh, spindle gouges, bowl gouges. So that's it there. And we've got our recipe labels here. So if you, if you can't remember what angle that is, you've got your three settings set up there. So we can do all your toning tools, skews, roughing gouges, beading and parting tools, uh, bullnose chisels, uh, all the way through. And again, jigs and angle settings for everything. Uh, so we can, it's nice and clean, it's easy, it's fast, and uh, we can repeat the same angle every time. So minimal tool wastage. Uh, the last one I'd like to show you is a knife. So we've got a knife jig again. We've set our angle. So with our knives we want to dial up half of what we want. So if I'm doing a 40 degree bevel, I need to set this at 20 degrees. That's at 20 degrees. So 20 degrees each side. Dial this up. All right. Lock that off. And away we go. Same as before, we just want to feel a burr come through and we can turn that around. Now we don't want to feel a burr come through on this side, we just want to make sure the bevel is the same length, otherwise we've shortened the original bevel surface. You might get a little bit of burn because you're pushing that back over. So just give it one swipe back on the first side. Turn that around. And we just bring this down onto the bevel. You'll feel it hit the bevel there. 
and we're just polishing the bevel. And that's it. Nice and sharp. <laughs> so that's the Tormac system. Um, feel free to come and see me at the uh, at the woodworking show. Happy to show you through any of the jigs and applications we can do. Thanks.